Welcome back, guys, for what will probably be the fastest uh, episode yet of these binder collections. Um, this one not being in a binder. I'm not sure where I'll end up putting these. Um, maybe with the black and white promos in that binder. Um, or maybe at the end of Dragon's Exalted. But uh, today we're going to take a look at a Dragon Vault, uh, which was a, a very small set of 20 cards. Um, all holographic and then we'll see some stamped ones which were I believe promos that came on the front of the front of the like blister pack like as a as a promo we have a couple of Dratinis here all hollow we got the nice rainbow underwater look in that one Dragonair some really crazy amazing cards in this set I'm not sure what the uh, the point was of this exactly, because it's much smaller than uh, some of the other in betweens. Uh, I wasn't collecting at the time, so I don't know a whole lot about the uh, the release itself. But uh, there are some really nice cards in there, and it's really cool that they're that they're all holographic. Not necessarily my favorite use of uh, some of these some of these hollow cards. Um, like I've said in the the last black and white sets that we looked at, it seems like they progressively get better at using this type of hollow foil and and making the card look good and not just having uh, a bunch of horizontal lines. But it seems like there's a little bit of uh, experimentation going on here. So I haven't really been paying. I guess we got like the Fukuda on the start. We should meant to uh, to check to see, and then we get the Arita Dragonite, and then we get the Sai Two. Uh, Bagon. So we got some uh, some pretty big names in here, in terms of uh, artists. Oh, and then we get the Salamance, which I th the alternate al alternate foil Salamance, which I think is from. Must be from a theme deck. Not a hundred percent sure. Um, I'd have to look that up. I think a lot of these were just random acquisitions. Uh, so here's one of these Dragon Vault stamped cards um, that was probably on the outside of the blister pack as a promo. If I remember correctly, if I'm wrong on that, please uh, leave a note down below and uh, and correct me. We have Latios. I really love the uh, the Latios and the Latias um, Pokemon in general. Um, it's really cool that they're counterparts. Uh, we have the Rayquaza, very nice um, holographic, really wild pattern in the background that kind of works with that hollow and it makes the Rayquaza really stick out. Um, I kind of wish that for these uh, promo cards that I that they had done an alternate artwork, but it is uh, it is what it is. Uh, they're doing they were doing their best, I guess. Axew. Here we go. We got a Tokia Axew there. So I don't know how these just, uh, they probably could have just included these within one of the other sets. But uh, maybe it was just something they were exper experimenting with. Haxorus here. Extra scary. I'm missing quite certain that I'm missing some of the cards here. Yeah, I'm missing whatever 17 is. And I think I'm missing the Secret Rare, which is a Salamence, I think. I can't remember. There's a Secret Rare, uh, which is like 21 out of 20, and I don't have it. We can XP share there, and a Super Rare, ad, which is uh, it's probably one of the cooler Super Rods. I'm sure someone's using that in their deck. Uh, since it gets reprinted quite often. Well, thanks guys for tuning in. I know this was a, a quick one. I was kind of debating on if I should just mix it in with another one, but um, if someone just wants to see Dragon Vault, then they'll be able to at least refer back to this. Um, and hopefully the next time we take a look at this, the entire thing will be complete, and I'll have some sort of update on where I'm going to stick this at, because I, I don't think we can justify putting that that in a binder on its own. Uh, be a lot of empty space in there. 
Thanks, guys. See you next time.